one owner and just under 5,000 pounds, a 2506S Rockwood Mini Light just came back to Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We sold it to the original owners. They were local folks. Uh, you know, we really worked with them close, earned their trust, and they decided when it was time to switch around, they came back to us. Um, they actually downsized slightly. What they found after owning this for a little bit um, is it just wasn't quite the right floor plan for them. They liked camping and they just wanted something uh, that had more of like an open living concept for a greater sense of space and they swapped it out for a Freedom Express here at Haywood RV. Other than that though guys, um, this has been very well kept and I think you're gonna like what you see here. If you're looking for a, a little singles or couples camper uh, under 5,000 pounds, this one's gonna be hard to beat in the used market. So this one here, it's kind of interesting because it's packing and unpacking friendly, but it's not completely travel friendly, which usually the one goes with the other. Because obviously the slide comes too close to the entertainment center to slip through here, unless you're a mouse and you can slip around the dinette and hopefully you don't have mice in your camper. There don't appear to be mice in this one, by the way. But the majority of your kitchen storage, your refrigerator and whatnot, you can get to that in transit. So like I said, it's packing and unpacking friendly, but it's not completely travel friendly. Just kind of one of those catch 22s of this style of floor plan. And it's really kind of impressive how, you know, expansive this one feels despite uh, really being a smaller living space. Instead of a, a, a long living space that we're used to in a lot of RVs today, this one just has a really wide living space. So it's just a, it's, just a little bit different take on things, you know. This concept actually proved pretty darn popular uh, because Rockwood actually stuck with it. They have revised it a little bit uh, in future models. They're actually a little bit bigger, a little bit longer, heavier, more expensive. Um, but uh, we, we've seen this layout kind of be copied through the industry by a few other guys. So um, a little bit different take on a front kitchen. What's nice is f pretty respectable storage for no longer than this trailer is and countertop prep space. That's really what this one brings to the table. Between that giant front window there, that big uh, you know piece of glass that gives you that panoramic view of wherever you landed this weekend, um, and the, the solid surface counters, the recessed sink, and the flush mount stove, you've got excellent prep space in here, and that's something little campers don't usually get. Quite a few of the mini lights uh, can suffer from that. This one is based around the idea of giving you lots of cabinet space. Now again, it is clean, it is well maintained. Uh, you're gonna see that even the original outside grill is still present and accounted for, and they eat, they used it, but they cleaned it when they were done with it, and that's something that a lot of people actually don't do. Now, it's kinda hard to tell in this smaller living space, but this does have a, a slight mini vault to the ceiling. This does have a two and a half inch uh, vaulted laminated ceiling, and this was one of the first years where Rockwood moved away from their laminated flooring to a little um, heavier duty, stronger flooring where we're actually walking on 5 8 tongue and groove plywood um, with uh, uh, aluminum studs every 12 inches on center. So this has the same like strength and type of flooring as a lot of these big monster luxury fifth wheels. The cross breeze windows through the slide are invaluable and you see we do maintain full storage above the slide. Additionally, you have full storage under the dinette. Now both sides of the dinette are going to benefit from these easy access uh, storage drawers. And you can see all the remotes and everything are still present here. Um, and you look at it and say, yeah, but how do I get to the back side of the dinette? You can get to it from the inside if you move that free floating table and then lift up the, the dinette um, you know, seating base, but you don't have to get to the back that way. Rockwood will actually give us an outside access door to the back side of that compartment, which is cool. They never let a, a darn thing go to waste. And it is funny how you remember things like, this is the, the wood print floor, the maple wood tones, and this decor was called Sterling. You know, you just see enough of these over time that certain things get ingrained into your brain. And that kind of stuff will never be on Jeopardy, ladies and gentlemen, but it is officially a part of who I am now, I guess. <laughs> so, little camper. But if you look at it, it's really kind of, um, uh, kind of blocked off into little rooms like we've got our living area here we've got a private bathroom we have a private bedroom in the back and we'll get to that in a minute but what uh, a non-centralized ac wouldn't do a good job of getting that bedroom and bathroom so rock would still put central ac even in these little campers now um one of the things Rockwood's been really ahead of the curve on for a while is they're giving us expandable entertainment options. Like they, were, a lot of brands now use this stereo, but Rockwood was the first. 
And uh, what, what this offers us is a couple things. One, you can get the IRV app for your phone. You can control this thing right from your phone, which is nice. Uh, you know, DVD, Bluetooth, stereo. But they give us um, an HDMI face-mounted port here so that if you do want to expand your entertainment to those like streaming sticks or whatever, you could. And you can power them right here off that USB plug. Now, the TV is uh, angle-mounted against the wall, which is actually pretty good for viewing, but it can pivot out as well. You can really kind of do uh, the best of both worlds here. And even though it's not like a, an official shoe garage that I really like, this nice big open chunk of real estate under the entertainment center I think would be a good place to just kind of kick your shoes off when you come in the door. Um, one other note here, this table being free floating, you could easily kick this out of here. And one of the questions we'll have uh, on this one all the time is people say, can I get like a sofa instead of the dinette, like in the new RV market? Obviously, that's not, uh, you, you, well, I guess you, if you wanted to, you could rip out the old dinette, but most people don't do that in the used market. Anyway, in the, uh, the new market, people say, can I get a sofa here? And you can, but I've never really felt you truly needed to in this model. With that table being free floating, it's very easy to just kind of slide it out of the way and then use this like a nice big open U lounge. And on a rainy day, you got that U lounge, uh, you know. You sit yourself in that corner, kick your leg up on the seat, you put your arm over here. You could really lounge out and kick back and, you know, catch a movie in this thing. Now, the bathroom is pretty great. And really, this is a very space-efficient floor plan. And what impressed me most on the bathroom was all the attention to detail still present here. Like we have the uh, Max Air vent fan up here. And again, you can see the cleanliness of that. This does not appear to have been used a great deal. Although they used the camper, they just really took care of it. Um... Now, that fan also has a roof vent cover, so if it is going to be a little bit of a drizzly day, you can still use this. Now, what I like is it's a small RV, but they didn't give it a small bathroom. It has the, like a, a full-size, full-function, full-feature bath, plenty of floor space, big radius shower, and that skylight is positioned on that weird 45-degree angle, but it makes sense when you stand in the shower. If you actually stand right in front of the shower head, the skylight is positioned to give you that extra comfort and headroom. That's one of the benefits of a laminated ceiling, is you can just drop skylights in pretty much wherever you want. And then the little touches like this, it's what I call Rockwood doing Rockwood things. Like, okay, cool, I got a hallway light switch. We're going to walk in the bedroom, there's a bedroom light switch. There's a bunch of just simple, easy, smart things that they did. Now, this bedroom... This is a classic blast from the past. This is something that I think the Fleetwood RV Company was one of the first to really pioneer and be successful with. And that is a non-sliding east-west bed. And this, this concept right here is actually where the whole Camp Queen concept originally came from. Um, because it, it gave you kind of the, the, the nicety of having really a bedroom slide without the length, weight, and cost of a bedroom slide. Now, if you're looking for entertainment, you got your TV hookups on that little mini stand. You could maybe mount something against the wall if you're so inclined. And we've got, you know, the normal bedroom complement of equipment here. We've got the dual side hanging closets. We've got our dual side stands. This one is a little bit wider and includes an extra little drawer. Both of them will have power outlets. Now, down here below the bed, you've got this cool little, like, storage chest. And once again, little signatures that this wasn't used a whole heck of a lot. <laughs> Look at how this is all aluminum, by the way is the hand controller for the heated mattress is still brand new in the packaging. Now, below that, they give you like a two-tier storage system. You've also got uh, a trio of these full extension drawers right here, so you don't necessarily have to lift the bed to get to all the storage, although if you choose to, it's not, not exactly like it's going to be hard. The exterior has been as well kept as the interior, which is fantastic. Um, I've got some wicked morning light here, so it's kind of funny. One side is all lit up and one side's in the shade, but I think we'll manage. Um, little detail things like here at the entry door. This is a small camper. A lot of small class campers, you won't always get the bigger handle. Um, not all of them are going to have that nicer anti-slam door. Uh, Rockwood doing Rockwood things, always taking it up a little bit. They were one of the first to switch over to the, uh, the locking screen door handle here. So if you have one of the littles, like a grandkid or something for the weekend, you can, you know, from the inside, close the screen door. And you can actually lock the screen door so you can get the good airflow. But you can also make sure that uh, the little toddlers aren't going to bounce out of the camper and get themselves hurt because nobody wants to see that. Now that big corner countertop in the kitchen area here, inside of it, you've got this handy little lazy susan to get easy access to the storage but 
if you need to get to uh, like big stuff or something like that, it might be a little funny, but they do give you an outside access door here so that if stuff does slide around, you don't have to crawl in through the cabinet to get to it. Simple side mount solar prep, doesn't look like that was ever used. Kind of like a lot of things on this camper don't look like they were ever used, but if you are gonna do some off-grid camping, uh, having a way there just to help keep your batteries topped off a little bit and extend your boondocking lifespan is always welcome. Um, the uh, front window on here, it's funny, so many RVs have started including a front window, a front windshield, or whatever. Rockwood never quit. Rockwood was doing it forever. They, they're, they're the ones that never stopped doing it. They're the ones that everyone is chasing with that front window and windshield thing. They made theirs look good and everyone else said, dang it, we got to catch up to that. Up front, one of the things that it's it's hard for me to demonstrate in this video because it's, uh, you know, I'm kind of more of a one-man operation. It's like you see power awning, power tongue jack, and you can say that about almost every RV nowadays, can't you? But what you can't see is the grade and the speed of those appliances or fixtures or features or whatever you want to call it. Rockwood uses things that have uh, better strength, faster moving, higher quality uh, motors, and it's just one of those other. Th it's just one of those nice quality of ownership, quality of life things that you can't appreciate until you've been a Rockwood owner. And uh, you know, bigger propane tanks on a small RV. Very handy again if you're gonna go boondocking. Um, full outside shower right here. So if you have been, uh, you know, in the lake or you wanna, you know, rinse something off or you've been catching some fish, you wanna clean some fish, perfect little spot right here to do that. Now, remember how I said the back side of the dinette has outside storage access? That's what we're looking at right here. And kinda like we saw under the bed when I lifted the bed, how that was all aluminum. That's what you're gonna see um, under the dinette as well. And again, just you can see that this was kept clean. It was kept well maintained. There's not fade and decal or scars or anything like that going on. Uh, this is also going to uh, corner like it's on rails compared to a lot of campers, which is nice uh, due to the four wheel independent suspension system that Rockwoods ride on here. They're not leaf spring axles or, and suspension. Um, it is actually a torsion suspension. So basically, if you're going around one of those really sharp um, highway exits, those curly Q kind, and uh, you know, the trailer, it's like you have to lean into that turn sometimes. Well, the trailer organically is trying to slide off the road except a Rockwood. Their suspension does the opposite. It will transfer uh, stress away from that so that the trailer tries to hold itself flat and it goes around corners very nicely. And the uh, roof ladder back here makes uh, getting up top for you know care and maintenance <laughs> a lot safer and easier. And everything up here looks fantastic. The roof has been kept clean. The seals are still fantastic. This thing has not been left out in the sun to be, you know, baked and fried as it were. Uh, the front termination strip, the rear termination strip, all the seals look fantastic. Um, just like the uh, exterior of the RV was kept very clean, the roof has as well. And obviously, very easily fully walkable. Um, Rockwood roofing has always felt uh, among the most sturdy and stable to me. And it's kind of funny, uh, a guy who kind of was a prospective customer of mine, who's really kind of become like a friend in a, in a lot of ways, uh, Mr. Johan Schnell down in uh, Florida. He said, you know, I've got a, a, a Rockwood now, a Flagstaff Shamrock technically, but exact same thing as a Rockwood. And he says, I feel safer walking on the roof of my Rockwood than my Jayco. And Jayco's have extremely heavy duty roofing, but their roof decking is designed to flex a little bit. Rockwoods is so stable. You never feel any of that. It's, what, it's like a zero flex roof. It always feels good up here. So if you are uh, up here for your you know, seasonal cleaning, routine maintenance, if there was a storm and you wanna check out to make sure nothing was torn or damaged or anything like that, it always feels uh, a lot safer and sturdier up here. Back down at ground level, uh, up top, we have, down up top, I guess I should make up my mind, above the rear window, we've got uh, prep for a Furion backup camera. Uh, those are things that we have on the shelf all the time. Happy to get you set up there if that's what you're looking for. Now, originally this would have come with a hard shell rear uh, like tire cover. Not sure what happened to that, but the fact is they didn't leave it. So maybe something went wacky and it blew off on the road, which I've never seen happen before. Maybe it got damaged somehow, I don't know but they replaced it, they took care of it. Now, um, at the foot of the bed, you had the storage trunk. At the head of the bed, we have the outside kitchen that we're gonna get to in a minute. In the middle, though, was kind of no man's land, and they, don't ex they didn't expect you to have to, like, 
make a grandkid hand walk in while you hold their feet like a wheelbarrow to get to anything. So they made the storage come to you. Just classic Rackwood doing Rackwood things. It looks like they left uh, a handful of uh, accessories here behind for you. Very good place for like uh, jack cranks and whatnot. And then down here you can see this is the, the basic starter kit that we set up uh, any new RV client with. And uh, it looks like a lot of those original accessories are still present and accounted for, which is pretty handy. So um, especially for first timers, it's just more money that you are not going to have to spend. And that never offends anybody. And they put about the biggest awning on this thing they really possibly could have. And it is awesome. It covers that uh, slide open outside kitchenette, the grilling station, the outside TV hookups, the entry door. It is basically the biggest awning they could have put on this camper. Um, one question we get all the time is you see that little baggage door on the, the very bottom left of the camper next to the outside kitchen. People go, what is that? What's in there? And it's actually just an easy access um, uh, panel to things like your water uh, pump access for like winterizing. Um, not really intended for storage, but that's something Rockwood's good about. It's giving you easy access to everything there. So that's one of the just great things about this one is just all kinds of patio space. Actually, funny, it's got a bigger awning than some bigger campers that have slides on the door side. Slides can really cause havoc for uh, awning space. Now, this is kind of what's cool. And I've always felt that like this is... This is really good floor plan for people who want to go outside and who want to do things. Not for people who want to sit inside all day, but when you're ready to retire for the evening, you could say, um, in, in, in you know very proper terms. Well, when you're ready to retire for the evening, you've got that nice, very private rear bedroom. And again, remember the rear bedroom being all the way back in the RV, it means that it's, it's more secluded from foot traffic, a little more private, a little more quiet, very handy for light sleepers. Um, but right here, this mini outdoor kitchenette, again, like everything else in the RV, very nicely kept, but not heavily used. And I do like that extra drawer below the little cooktop right here. A real sink with a drain that goes into a holding tank, not the uh, flip them out dog dish style of things. And what's kind of cool is that east-west bed, really what it's doing for us guys is it's creating the space for this outside kitchen because this outside kitchenette is actually under the headboard of the bed. Pretty cool how it all kind of came together. Now over here we have uh, the uh, outside grill. So you have both uh, outside stove burner for like the sides, then you got the grill here for the uh, the main course as it were the protein and the sides all at the same time now they use the grill but they cleaned it and I point that out because <laughs> I've seen a lot of campers coming on trade I've seen a lot of used grills people don't usually clean them and I, that's just one of those sad but true sort of things obviously if someone was my point here is if they were willing to go to the extent to clean this grill before they traded the camper in you can be pretty confident they took care of the rest of it and cleaned it too and once again rockwood doing rockwood things they include the extra little side mount sort of utility prep table right here so that you actually have a place to set your platter while you're using the tongs to kind of flip around the meat just the little detail things like that that they do is stuff like that takes it over the top for me now the tv that's inside can uh, the whole swing arm and everything actually can dismount and remount out here, plug into the TV hookups, or you could get a second TV. And uh, it, it gives you like the like ultimate tailgating experience. So this that's what's kind of funny about this one. It's a good camper if you're looking for a lightweight couples camper. It's a good camper if you're looking for something because uh, you're a little bit more of an outdoorsy person and you want a short floor plan to really get off the grid. And it's a good camper if you're going to do some game day tailgating or something like that. Um, it, it's really good for a lot of different things. And uh, I don't know, maybe that's why it's so darn successful because it appeals to so many different people. Um, so short of that, give us a call. We do hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun and happy camping everyone.